And we have new details into our newsroom this evening on the health district's investigation into the Las Vegas Strip hotels that are accused of breaking the Nevada state law that requires daily hotel room cleaning. Fox 5's Maddie White investigates. She joins us now with everything she's learned. That daily housekeeping requirement is intended to enhance the overall cleanliness of the Vegas Strip amid COVID-19. But culinary union members claim that some hotel properties are not abiding by it. Here's something that'll put a wrinkle in your otherwise wrinkle-free duvet. Those people deserve their room. You go to a hotel when you want your room clean every day. Culinary union members claim some strip hotel properties aren't requiring daily cleaning. We are being told that guests are simply being told there you won't have house cleaning. You won't have room daily room cleaning. Governor Steve Sisolak signed the new requirement in 2020 and had this to say, as we begin the process of our economic recovery, these worker protections will help them feel safer at work. These additional protections send a powerful message to our visitors that they can take advantage of all the wonderful amenities in our great state while enjoying from increased health and safety standards. But the culinary union's president says some of their members claim seeing strip hotels blatantly disregard the law. There's incidents throughout the strip. If the guests are still going to be paying the full cost of their rooms, but the company can reduce the amount of cleaning and convince customers to accept dirty rooms, they can reduce the workforce by up to 30 percent. Papa George told us the Southern Nevada Health District is currently investigating it, but we just heard directly from the district and they had this to say about the daily room cleaning requirement, which falls under Senate Bill 386. Quote, the Southern Nevada Health District received complaints submitted by the Culinary Union. The Health District's Environmental Health Division investigated the complaints and inspectors found the properties were in compliance with the requirements of SB 386. In Additional complaint was received for another location. The complaint was found to be valid and the property corrected the violation. It is now in compliance with SB 386, end quote. Fox 5 reached out to the management companies of the hotels listed in these complaints, and we have yet to hear back from them. I'm Maddie White, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.